2020 is shaping up to be a pretty good year for baseball games on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, we've had an improved RBI baseball game earlier in the year, followed by Super Mega Baseball 3 and the Family Stadium series. Family Star is coming to the Switch as well this September. Now, of course, our topic of discussion today is the latest entry into the Power Pro Baseball series from Konami, eBaseball Power Pro Yaku 2020, which hit the Switch and PlayStation 4 on July 9th, 2020. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications because today we're going to take a look at Power Pro Baseball 2020 on the Nintendo Switch. We're going to be taking a look at the uh, different modes that the game has to offer performance and if it's worth owning Power Pro 2020 if you already bought last year's version of the game. Now, when it comes to overall presentation and control, not much has really changed from the 2019 iteration of Power Pro Baseball. And that's not really a bad thing. So, Power Pros is a pretty deep baseball sim with the friendly, inviting character models that are definitely going to appeal to a pretty wide audience. Now, the gameplay here is easy to pick up on, but pretty difficult to master. Pitching has you choosing your pitch with a joystick or control pad, and then using the B button to fire in the ball. Now, like previous iterations, the numbers associated with the pitch indicates how potent it's going to be. So, let's say you have a curveball that's ranked a 5. You're going to get quite a bit of movement compared to one with a 1 or 2. Also, I should note, if you want to change the camera view while pitching, all you need to do is press in the right stick a few times, and then you can do that. Now, I prefer the behind the pitcher view. It's kind of like a you know baseball TV broadcast, and it really provides a more immersive experience, in my opinion. Fielding remains pretty solid as well. I mean, the realistic feel of the throws, the accurate ball physics, and the uh, pretty realistic movements of the players in the game make this more sim-like than it actually looks. Now, as with last year, you're also able to play with up to four players here too, which I haven't really got a chance to try out. And not only that, but you can also play in a single athlete mode that puts you in control of one player for fielding and batting. Now, with control of just one player, games are a bit more breezy here and offer a different kind of experience. Now, fielding in this mode can be a little bit tough. I mean, it's a little bit hard to make sure you're in the right position on defense. Um, it's challenging, but I think it's something pretty unique to the series that's pretty cool. Now, batting is just as good as ever. Now, with the default control setting, you have complete control over the location of the bat with a joystick and can perform hits with the B button or a bunt with A. Now, by pressing in the R button, you can opt for a power swing. So the reticle here gets significantly smaller, but if you make perfect contact, you're going to send that ball flying. Now, something I didn't mention in my review from last year has to do with the player's confidence, for lack of a better word. Now, you'll notice that there are times when you'll see a blue or purple aura appear around the players. Now, when the blue aura appears around your batter, the bat reticle actually increases in size just a little bit to give you a better chance to hit the ball. Now, conversely, if it's purple, the size decreases a bit, now making it more difficult to get hit. And the same kind of happens with pitchers here as well. It's something I kind of overlooked last year, but it's definitely a really nice touch. And it looks like this can be toggled on or off in the menus as well if you like, so if you don't want that to be part of your game, you could actually turn that off. Now just a note here on the Japanese, I think this kind of goes without saying, but Power Pro Baseball 2020 is full of tons and tons of Japanese. Now I have made a few English guides to help you guys uh, get set up with some of the basics. Be sure to check out our English guide page on the Famicast.com for more on that. Um, like I said before in my previous video about that, and they're also on the website, um, I don't think there are enough man hours in a day for me to go about translating this entire game, but I'm going to keep trying to add to the guide, at least on the website, as time goes on. And I hope that information can be pretty useful for you guys out there. Now back to the game. So visuals and sound here haven't changed that much. Now the ballparks, complete with the advertisements that are found on the real stadiums, which I thought was cool. Uh, the crowd and the players, some of which actually do their specific celebrations after home runs that are spot on. Now all this stuff looks good, and you know it honestly seems like the lighting looks a little bit better this time around here too. I will say that textures can seem to be a bit blurry here though. Uh, you'll notice if you look at some of like the logos or something like that, you can kind of see that happen. In terms of frame rate, the game runs at 60 frames per second, and I didn't notice any significant dips at any point during my time with the game. Um, right now, with the capture that you're seeing right now, this is all captured in 30 frames a second, so sorry about that. Now, in handheld mode, the game does seem to lack a little bit of the fidelity found when playing on the big screen, but the game still runs smoothly and looks decent enough. I mean, being able to play baseball on the go is always a plus in my book. Now, as great as this game still looks in this 2020 iteration, it is not an upgrade by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, music and sounds, while fine, are pretty much a copy and paste of last year. I would have liked to see a little bit more variety here, especially with the music, but, you know, it is what it is. 
Power Pro 2020 is pretty much constantly connected to the internet, so why is that? Well, as you play the game, you're awarded power points that can be used to purchase in-game items, additional players, stadiums, and more in the game. You can purchase these items in a shop section from the main menu, and here you can pick the aforementioned items, stuff like that. Um, there is also an option here to connect to the eShop to purchase additional content but that doesn't seem to be working now. Now, before the release of the game, Konami announced that various music tracks and even video intros from throughout the history of the series and more would be available to purchase. They even announced a subscription service that is available exclusively to PlayStation 4 owners of the game. Uh, now, at any rate, as of the time of this recording, none of this is available on the eShop or this portal from the main menu. It's a pity because I really wanted to check this stuff out to let you guys know and see if it was worth it. I, I've been running a couple of different videos here letting you guys know what the stuff looks like, but as it stands right now, you cannot get any of this on your Switch. Maybe if you would have purchased the version with like the DLC included, maybe you could have, but I don't know because I didn't get that version. Power Pro Baseball 2020 offers more modes than any other Power Pro game to date. Not only that, but this year's version will also receive updates to players and rosters all the way into 2021. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that rules out a version of the game for 2021, but it certainly sounds like it will. Um, now, even with that said, Power Pro 2020 would be giving players a lot of bang for their buck if it can hold a baseball fans over for like two years or so. I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see on that one. Speaking of modes, one of the new modes on offer here is called Live Scenario. Now, in this mode, gamers take control of a team in short missions and try to reverse the outcome, or keep things the same, of a game that happened in real life. Now, these are laid out in missions, and these missions put players on either offense or defense in a variety of scenarios. Now, you might be asked to turn the tide of a game and take the lead in the fifth inning after being down a few runs, or you might have to step up to the mound and shut down your opponent in the ninth inning to close out a game. Missions are pretty quick as well, and even if you fail, you can jump back in almost instantly. Now, every single game that has been played during the 2020 season is available here, both home and away games. Now, there is a difficulty slider with up to five levels to try here too. Now, once you clear a mission, you're awarded PP, or power points. The better you perform, the more PP you receive. Power points, I'll say power points. Um, overall, I really like this mode, as it allows you to just jump in a little bit every day to get your baseball fix. Now, there's also a ranking system here where you can see how you stack up against the other players all over Japan, which could be an incentive for some to replay missions or just to shoot for the stars. Another one of the big additions in Power Pro 2020 is the Olympic mode. Here, you take control of an Olympic team in a tournament style of play to complete for that coveted gold medal. Now, you can choose to play in a tournament as either a team or as an individual player, kind of like what I mentioned before with the single athlete mode. Now, saving here is possible after the game, but it's kind of a bit hidden. So, like, after your game or something like that, you just have to go to the settings and then click that first option, which says save, and then you'll be good to go after that. And then, it, let's say you just want to quit out of the mode there, too. All you have to do is just go to the bottom uh, thing in settings, and that ends that mode. Acon 9. Another new mode for the 2020 version of the game has you take control of a high school team hoping to build up players that will eventually go pro. Now, I didn't get super deep into the mode here, but you are able to create your own school based anywhere in Japan, and you can edit things like the name of the school, the uniforms, and more. Now, the gameplay in this mode puts you in the role of a coach as you decide what kind of drills and stuff like that you want your players to do so you can build up their abilities. Now, just from just a very short time with the game, Akon 9 seems to have a pretty high level of depth in what is already a pretty packed game. Now, Power Fests in Power Pro 2020 has players hop aboard a flying, touring baseball stadium uh, that's making its way around the globe. Uh, there are tons of different characters and dialogue to get through here too, so you better bring that Japanese dictionary with you if you're not familiar with the language. Uh, your goal in this mode is to take out other teams and build up your team with star players and increase their abilities. Now, as far as I know, you won't be playing in full games here, but rather shortened versions from specific points in the game. This kind of helps things be a little bit more breezy, so you can kind of just fly through some of the games. Now, winning matchups earns you the ability to recruit players from the opposing team. Now, I'm still working on playing through this mode, but it's a pretty fun addition here, offering quite a bit of replay value. 
Now, in last year's game, Power Pro 2019, the ability to play online was mixed in with the regular exhibition game. So this year, online games and tournaments are all located under what's called the championship section of the game. Now, for individual games, there are a number of lobbies that can be populated by players. There, you can set the number of innings as well as the other rules for the game. Now, upon a quick inspection of the mode, there, there really weren't a whole lot of people that had matches set up, but, you know, there was still quite a few, I guess. But I would imagine that people on that version of the game might be playing online a little bit more and there might be a bit more of a larger online community. Uh, so if you're picking up this game for online play, that's definitely something to keep in mind. I mean, there are people playing, but you might have more luck if you get the PlayStation 4 version. Now Success Road makes a return here as well, this time offering three different scenarios starting off as a university student. So even though there are these three scenarios here, being farming, business, and Egyptian, the farming school is the only one available when you actually first start out. Of course, here you're gonna be working on your baseball skills, learning about farming, <laughs> I guess, uh, hanging out with your friends, going on dates, and more. So yeah, this is still there, and it's still a pretty decent mode. There's definitely, um, a need to know some Japanese if you want to play this mode. So uh, yeah, definitely keep that in mind if you're going to try that out. Now, of course, there are still a lot of returning modes to this game here too. My Life, Home Run Attack, and Pennant remain largely unchanged here. Still, they offer quite a bit of content that will keep you busy for a long time. I mean, heck, Pennant mode alone can be played for up to 30 seasons and, you know, it keeps track of a myriad of stats here to boot. I mean, this year, Pinnet Mode also offers a few more frills, giving gamers the options of special days to implement into their seasons. Now, these range from having fireworks during the middle of games to, supposedly, having special uniforms that can be worn by your team. Now, even though I set up the special uniforms thing, my team was still wearing their standard uniforms. I mean, that could have just been me not confirming the proper settings, or this might not be fully implemented into the game yet. Uh, needless to say, if you're looking for a deep, no-nonsense baseball experience, Pinnit is definitely where it's at. Everything else here adds even more content to an already extremely packed game. Like I've said before, there is definitely a lot to do here. Power Pro Baseball 2020 is a solid sequel to last year's entry into the series. While there are a few returning modes that remain largely unchanged, the new additions and updates provide more content than ever, almost to the point where it could be intimidating. Now these new modes, particularly Live Scenario, my personal favorite, are great and they're really going to keep you busy for a long time. Now if you missed out completely on the 2019 version of the game, picking up Power Pro Baseball 2020 is a no-brainer in my opinion. There's an unbelievable wealth of modes that can keep you busy for dozens and dozens and dozens of hours. Now it gets a little bit trickier to consider picking up this game if you picked up last year's version. It, it kind of just depends on whether or not these new modes appeal to you or if you think they're worth it. Now, with the loose promise that this game will continue to get updates to the 2021 season, I think it seems like now would be just as good a time as any to upgrade. If you're looking for a great baseball game on the Switch, even if you have Power Pro Baseball 2019, I don't think you can go wrong here. Final score for Power Pro Baseball 2020 on the Nintendo Switch, 9 out of 10. As always, thank you guys for checking out this video. I'd like to give a special shout out to our patrons for their support, um, basically making it so I can actually pick up this game. Thank you guys so much, really appreciate that. And I also want to reach out to you guys who have uh, left comments on the other Power Pro 2020 videos. Um, here's a picture of me at a 2019 game of the Lions to celebrate and to say thank you, I guess. Uh, anyway, special shout out to Jam and Samurai, BJ uh, Wanland and Chris Ovac, and others out there too. Thank you guys so much for reaching out. Now, just to close things out, uh, if you like what you see here, please feel free to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We got tons of podcasts with some talk about baseball, life in Japan in general, games, more, stuff like that. Check it out. Uh, we also got video reviews, special videos, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you later.